All right, guys, I'm going to get started uh, putting my carburetors together now. I've got uh, got my tools sorted out here. I'm looking for, here we go, my old gasket. I want to match, I want to match this up. We have three gaskets in the kit. I want to make sure that I have the right gasket. Okay, let's see here. See what we've got. Looks like this might be my guy right here. Looks like a match. Yeah, okay. I'm going to put these others aside here. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and start with the jets. We've got my parts out here. jets installed. In the kit they didn't provide me with an o-ring that'll fit my idle jet. Okay but I had a I've got this assortment of o-rings and I found one that I think will work. Uh, that was a little big. Yeah I'm off to go with this one. That's the next size so let's see if we can uh, put this o-ring here on our on our idle jet, I'm sure that it so the old one was stretched a little bit. That should be, it should size up okay. We'll see. Really don't want to use the old one. Uh, well, if I have to, but I'd rather not. So I get this stretched over here. It is a, a bit of a stretch for it. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, that should seal. That should do okay. Okay, I want to kind of just talk about the the jets just for a second. Um, if there's your idle jet, and you got a you've got a set screw that holds it tight. Um, then you've got your air corrector, which goes on top of your emulsion tube, your main jet, one-way valve. So let me. Go ahead and we'll start putting these th these things in here. I'm going to start with the emulsion tube here. Got it cleaned up. It goes right down in there. Okay. And then you put your air corrector on top. Now I'm going to take this camera wide for a minute. I don't know if you can see what I'm what I'm doing here. Okay, let's get the air corrector tightened up, then we'll start with the rest of our jets. And all these jets have, they're stamped with their number. For example, that air corrector, that's a 160. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and stick the main jet in. Now we'll put our one-way valve in. It's a little cramped if you've got, unless you've got really small hands. A little, little cramped getting these uh, jets in the bottom of the bowl, fuel well, whatever you want to call it. Snug everything down. Get our idle jet in. I'm going to put just a little bit of lubricant on that. Okay. Yeah, it looked like that o ring. That o ring there, it. Uh, Looks like it, it snugged in really good. I can feel it, feel a little the resistance against the carburetor body. Okay, and don't forget your set screw here. No. 
Okay. All right, guys, let's go ahead and put our accelerator pump on the carburetor. Um, get your, get the arm that works the pump. You have to turn it, you have to open the butterfly just a little bit. Slide that through the hole and then you're ready to start assembling everything. Let's go ahead and throw the pump in the housing. Accelerator pump housing and throw the, the spring in it. Okay, and I'm going to throw one screw in. Just when it, so I can start bolting that down when I get close. Okay, you want to get a little lined up with this, and you want to throw this arm on before you get in too deep into that. Let's get another screw in here. Make sure we're lined up. I'm just what I'm going to try to do is get the the this uh, the parts that go on the body of the carburetor installed, get it finished up. We'll set it back and then we'll start on the air horn. Okay, and the and the counting and the counting the screws is one and a half turns is where it was where it was set at, and we're on our adjustment screw. We're going to go right back with one and a half. Just run it down until it stops. There's half, one, one and a half. So, I think we're done. We're done with the, the body of the carburetor. All right, what I want to do, I want to go ahead and get my filter. We've got it all cleaned up. Put our filter in. And the cap screw. Just want to snug this just a little bit. You don't have to kill it. Okay. Now we have our new needle valve seat. This is our old one. We don't need that. It came with a new one. Just about. Let's see. We don't want to forget our gasket. Got the little aluminum gasket. Snug that down. Okay, now we need to put our new gasket on it. Okay. Yeah, that's lining up fairly well. Just checking to make sure. All right, now we need to put our float on. Okay, I know, just noticed something, guys. I should have done this a second ago. We've got our pin that holds the accelerator pump arm. Let me go ahead and throw that on. I need to get my float and put my needle valve on it new needle valve of course okay and then we'll check the float for adjustment okay now in checking the float for where it needs to be you're supposed to have a quarter inch from the bottom of the carburetor I guess you'd say from the from the top of the carburetor to the bottom of the float okay or actually the spec said six millimeters to seven millimeters which is about a quarter of an inch okay and opening it up up to 13 millimeters or close to a half of an inch so we're going to measure that and adjust the float accordingly not super critical but you don't want to be have it running too lean or too rich either one it looks like we're good now I'm gonna try opening it up yeah I think we're fine on that 
Okay, now let's go ahead and put everything together. Probably one of the simplest carburetors I've ever rebuilt. There you have it. That's uh, rebuilding the Weber ICTs. It's not bad at all. It's not bad at all. It's just. Uh, I guess we just have to be patient and uh, I want to show you guys I've, I've before I've told you guys before I don't know if you remember this is an awesome book Bob Tomlinson's original wherever tech manual awesome books got all your specs your float adjustments and so on and so forth in there really good book and it covers everything from ICTs to IDS you can get it at CB performance so uh, that's it guys we're done uh, I gotta put the other one together and we're um, ready to install them whenever I get a chance so thanks for watching